Hey everyone, welcome to this commented gameplay video of Chia, where I'll try to show you what a typical playthrough might look like. So here I'm a few hours into the game and Chia is on a quest to save her father who's been abducted by a mysterious man. And right now I need to meet my new friend Louise who promised she'd help me gather some items for an offering. As you'll see there are many ways for me to get there, but one I find super fun is swaying on top of trees and using that inertia to kind of catapult myself into the air. And of course always using my glider to break the falls. Louise is on the other side of that huge cliff, but luckily I can just climb anything in the game. It's very smooth and freeform. So that's super handy, but today I'm feeling a bit lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a parakeet that I have in my backpack. Don't worry, it's super cozy in there. And as it starts flying away, I'm just going to soul jump into it. So soul jumping lets Chia take control of any object or animal she can find in the world. And it's super handy for locomotion, just like here, I can just fly up that cliff. And there seems to be something interesting up here, so I'm gonna take a look. Uh, yep, that's Trinket, so I'm gonna grab it. Those are used to unlock uh, cosmetics for Chia and her boat that I'm going to try to show you a bit later on. Okay, so I almost got spotted here, so I'm going to pull back and take care of those enemies. Those are the Mano and their soldiers made out of fabric. Oh, did you see that bird getting blown up? That was uh, unfortunate, but uh, don't worry, animals can't die in the game. So what I used here is called a soul throw, which lets me project a prop super fast. And basically any explosive or flammable object would do the trick with those enemies because they're made out of fabric. And those big piles are where they spawn from, so I better get rid of them. And they also hide some rewards. Here I'm seeing some smoke, which means there's a campfire I haven't unlocked, so I'm gonna head there. There you go. And while I'm here, I'll put on a new outfit with a cool flower necklace. So I'll keep on exploring a bit. And here I spot a bird and if I'm quick enough, I can soul jump into it. And that kind of improvisation is what I think makes our locomotion and exploration super fun and engaging. My soul meter is running low, so I'll make a stop in this small village. And I'm gonna try to find a campfire to get some rest. So I can also soul jump into things directly from my hands, like in this coconut here. And let me show you a cool secret trick here. So if I soul throw the coconut and very quickly soul jump back into it, I can use that force to travel great distances. That's super fun. I'm going to take a quick rest. So there's a shooting range in this town, so I might as well give it a go with my slingshot. Silver trophy. That's not too bad. And here's what I was looking for. So I'm just gonna quickly take out my ukulele and perform a soul melody, which are magical tunes that affect the world around you. This one just sets the time of day. And I'm gonna customize my boat a bit, make it more stylish to match my cool new outfit. Controlling the boat is fairly easy, 
You interact with the sail to control your speed and with the paddle at the back to steer. So pretty straightforward. That cool rock formation here is one of the many spots in the game that were inspired by the iconic landmarks of New Caledonia that we recreated in the game, sometimes with a little twist. And here I see a reef, so I think I'm gonna stop and explore a bit. And it seems like there's a pearl down there. Those are used just like the trinkets to unlock cosmetics for Chia and her boat. And swimming around is fun, but swimming around as a dolphin is even better. And as always, improvisation is key to get around efficiently in Chia, so... I'm going to snatch that bird and fly up that cliff where I know Louise is waiting for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it got you at least a little bit excited for the game. This is just a small taste of what we have to offer though, so please stay tuned because we got a lot more to show. And stick around for the end of the video too, where Louise and Chia are going to sing a very cute tune that I'll let you enjoy without adding any obnoxious commentary over. So thanks again. Enjoy. And uh, see you soon. Bye. Coucou la petite paix